It does not smell like beer. Let's give her a shot as my cat attacks my dog. Good times. Good boy. Oh, what? Be going down, people of the world. My name is Redbeard, and you're watching yet another Daily Drink vlog. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're new around here, feel free to join my army. Subscribe. Much appreciated. For the beer of the today, we've got a can of Hazy Days. It's a hazy IPA, hazy juicy IPA apparently, by the Cowbell Brewing Company out of Blythe, Ontario, coming in at 6% ABV. I have not tried anything new from these guys in a while. They have... Boxing Bruin, I believe is the name of the, another IPA by them I've had. It was not a hazy juicy IPA, it was more of a West Coast style, I believe, IPA. So. I like both styles, but this style, when done well, is just kind of something else. It can come across as not even a beer. It's astonishing. And it also says triple hopped on it. So I'm not sure if that means like maybe hopped twice while it was, or hopped once while it was being brewed and then maybe double dry hopped. I really don't know what triple hopped means, but with that in mind, let's crack it open. And let's see what we've got. And yeah, there's a couple other beers by Cowbell that I think I can get, but I haven't reviewed for whatever reason, just like other beers that have been kind of popping up as of late. That actually looks really, really nice. It's not coming through quite as orange on the camera as I'm seeing. It looks really nice. It's not like the haziest beer I've ever seen. I've seen some where it's just like a wall of orange. This has, you know, you can see into it a little bit. Finger or so of really kind of creamy looking head. <laughs> that smells really good. I'm getting nothing but like tropical juicy fruit notes like pineapple and citrus notes and maybe some grapefruit and mango papaya think of your favorite tropical fruit drink and it probably smells something like this it does not smell like beer let's give her a shot as my cat attacks my dog good times My super brave dog. That is scary. Crushable. I could destroy several of these on a hot summer day sitting on a patio. Speaking of, there's a heat warning this week. It is currently quite warm outside, but there's a bunch of people around outside doing stuff. I don't want to be out there with them, but I'm going to try to get some more of the uh, kind of me sitting outside reviews that I haven't done in quite some time. Change it up a bit. Why not? Well, let's do this. Cheers, everyone. Almost failed. Almost is okay, though. Say it right now. This is definitely, currently, the best beer from Cowbell that I've ever had. Listen to the love. The... My cats are psychotic. Hazy Days is a juicy tropical punch of hops without the IPA bitterness. Aggressively whirlpool hopped, firm hopped, and dry hopped. All right. Brewed with an outrageous amount of Galaxy Mosaic, Mandarina, and Eldorado hops to create a supremely refreshing and delicious beer. Hazy Days bursts with tantalizing tropical hop aromas and juicy flavors of mango, pineapple, papaya, and sweet orange. And I guess five cents from every can goes to one of Ontario's four children's hospitals. That's it's a lot of cans of beer for five cents to add up, but good on you. You're making an effort. Um, pairing, tacos, pizza, pad thai, and soft cheese, apparently. Uh, 35 ibus. And the date... Sate, it says, do the right thing. I don't know. And then it also says, 
May 1st. Currently May 25th. Pretty fresh beer right there. Cowbellbrewing.com will bring you to cowbellbrewing.com. I have not been to cowbellbrewing.com, but I've heard really good things about it. Apparently their brewery is gorgeous. Currently, like a lot of other businesses, they're uh, doing, I think only just, uh, yeah, there we go. Curbside food and beer pickup is available. So you can still get the beer if you're local. I'm not sure if they have province-wide shipping. We'll probably find out pretty quickly. Why not? Actually, you know what? We can just look over here and see it says order our beer. And all orders will now ship with guaranteed contactless due to blah, 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 blah. Nah, craft beer, merchandise, residents of Ontario. And that was Deadpool taking a freaking backflip off the top of the TV. Second time today that's happened. I keep forgetting he's up there and he's he's a bobblehead. So it doesn't take much for him to bubba 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 and fall. It's terrible. They suck. Throw some hot glue on that. Hot glue works wonders. Um, I don't really have much else to say. Like currently recommended uh almost seven minutes recording time i'm gonna sit down thoroughly enjoy most of this and then i will be the back look what i can do now yeah I'm stuck there this is damn tasty um like i said before i haven't haven't changed my opinion this is easily far and away my personal favorite beer that i've had from cowbell I'm just, I'm a big fan of this style. A lot of people that I know say they're over it. I, I'm i not. I'm a big fan of juicy beers. Oh. They're just so tasty. I don't know. Like, I still like almost every other style that's out there, but this is just something kind of special in my mouth's opinion. Um, Untapped says 3.96 out of 5 with 263 ratings overall. And there is a ridiculous... Wait, wait. How did that happen? That was a pretty big fail. <clears throat> That's the uh, rating for the previous beer that I did the other night, Deathblow. 3.86 out of 5 with 1,688 ratings overall is the actual untapped rating. Drink number one. It's occurred to me. <clears throat> Ingredients are not on here. I don't know why they wouldn't be. They got a bunch of other information. The ABD, IDU, SRM, the temperatures to drink it at, the glassware, the pairing and stuff, but that's a that's a half point off, but that's just how I roll. This beer is going to get an 8. I would have given it an 8.5, but what I just said. So, with that in mind, if you've had it, let me know in the comments down below and start the conversation because the video should be done. If you liked it, smash the thumbs up button in the face and, you know, I'll be back with something like this or some gaming. Who knows what's going to happen? Who knows? My channel's a mystery. To even me, a piece of. I freaking hate when I can't think of anything to say at the end of the video. So this is how the video is ending. Fail. Hey.